Hey guys, I'm Tumin here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can free up some memory on your Android device for free. You will need root, but it's kind of optional because some of these methods I'm about to show you um, are for non-root users and for, and for rooted users. So, let's begin this video. So I know a lot of you guys love your Android phones and you like to install a lot of apps because what is an Android phone without Android apps? It would be like a piece of junk basically. It would be useless. So the good thing about Android apps is that they're useful and they're addictive and they're really good tools for your Android device. The bad thing is though that they use up a lot of memory, at least most of them do, and if you have an old phone like for example the G1 for example, uh, you're obviously going to fill up your memory, your internal storage with a bunch of apps and it's just not gonna, it's not gonna be good for your Android device and you basically have to limit your app downloads. So that's not good for all Android users and most of us just want to download apps as many as we want. Um, but the fact is that sometimes our phone cannot handle so much memory on our Android devices. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can free up memory on your Android device uh, so you can get more free space on your Android device and then maybe even make your phone just a bit faster. So I got some cool little applications that I got from the Android market. Some of them require root, some of them don't. First off, we got apps to SD. Now this app is actually a pretty good application because um, it lets you store all your apps to your SD card so you can get more, more memory so you can download more apps and more space. So if we tap on it, you actually do need root so it's gonna ask you if you have root or not. And I do, so tap on it. And when you first open it up, you're gonna get a list of applications on movable on this tab you have on your SD card on your phone and basically the movable ones are actually the apps you can move to your SD card down here tells you how much space you have to download uh, from your memory from your phone memory from the ender market to your uh, phone memory and basically what you could do here is basically move applications to your SD card by tapping on them select move to SD card and and there you go I moved it to my SD card and then basically what you have there, it frees up some space and it also clears cache. So that's good. So here are some applications I can like move to my SD card and right there it tells you how much me megabytes they are. So that's 11 megabytes, 9 megabytes and that's actually really big files on your phone memory that you can move to your SD card which frees up your phone memory so you can install more Android apps on your Android device for free. Now you can see on the lower right icon, there's like an SD card that has next on it. If you want to see what that is, basically you got to tap on it, hold on it, click lower right icon, and it tells you that if you move it to your external storage, basically your SD card, it's going to tell you what is not, what's going to be removed when you plug in your USB cable to your computer, and that's basically what you're going to lose. But when you unplug it, it's going to come back, so it's all good. So you just can't use it when you're plugged into the computer. Method number two is Cache Cleaner NG. Cache Cleaner NG is an application that lets you clean your cache. Now, a lot of applications have cache and they store it up and sometimes they don't even tell you they have cache and you can't clear them. Well, this is an application that lets you clean them. You just click clear now and it cleans all the cache for you. For the people who have phones like these, the old ones, you're not gonna get that much memory. I know I downloaded like 10 apps and I, ha I already had to limit my size because it was just like not even working out for me. So for the people that have low memory on their Android devices, then they can download this and it'll just be great. And it cleans your cache, it cleans, it checks all your applications and it checks if they have cache and if it does, um, you can clean now and once you clean it, tells you how much um, how much cash you had here on your internal and your SD card. Sometimes it gets pretty high and I, I really like this. Next, we have SanDisk Memory Zone. SanDisk Memory Zone is an application that lets you see all your files on your SD card. Now, all, all your internal memory basically. And right here, it tells you how much I have. And basically what you do here is look at your, basically your data. You could choose to hold it down and basically when you hold it down you could you could choose to move it to the internal memory or your external memory depends on which one you have which one you want to decide on cuz maybe one's bigger than the other and the other's bigger 
the other smaller than the other. So depends on where you want to move to. And then you can also upload it to the online storage. Basically, you upload it there, and then you can get it back later, so you don't so you won't lose anything. You can also choose to delete it, make it private. So like, put a lock on it, put a password on it, make it private, and then you can share it on Facebook. So pretty cool application. It has a lot of files on it. Um, it has pictures, music, it also has videos, it also has documents, and it also has apps from your APKs all the way to your phone memory that you install from the Android Market. If you press online, you can also choose from Dropbox, Box, Google Docs, uh, you can also choose um, SugarSync, Picasa, or Facebook. I chose Picasa because it's probably the best one besides Dropbox, but I don't really like Dropbox. I use Picasa for my pictures because that, that's all I back up right now and I can choose to upgrade my memory card and basically it's actually a pretty nice application you can basically back up everything if you tap on it you can basically back up and restore you can free up some memory with this your data and basically you'll have more memory on your SD card and your internal memory last but not least I got Astro File Manager Astro File Manager is actually a pretty good application basically what you can do here um, is basically manage all your files on your SD card and your internal storage. Basically, what you got to do is go is click File Manager. Basically, install this on your other device. Ask for File Manager, and it brings up you with all these applicate all these folders on your other device. And basically, what you got to do here first is start off by going to pressing Menu. Then you got to press Preferences. Then you got to scroll down all the way to the bottom. Tap on Home Screen. Then you got to tap on SD card. You just click add and basically it adds a shortcut to your SD card. Tap home. Um, it should be it should be somewhere in your home screens depending on how much room you have in your home screens. And then you're gonna see this icon that looks like an SD card basically. You tap on it and basically what it does it gives you all your files but basically this time it tells you how much gigabytes they have on each one. So this is my internal memory of course and right there it tells me my, that my biggest file on here is the external SD card but from that the biggest one is Android an Android file um, it's called Android basically it's 2.38 gigabytes now that's pretty big and basically it lets you it lets you see what applications are really huge on this and basically what you can do now since you know which file takes up the most space on your SD card or your internal storage you can just tap on it see what's taking up so much memory and then you'll see that the biggest one is this one and this one. Now this is uh, Modern Combat 3, pretty big file, and this is Asphalt 6. So these are two big files. I could choose to delete them um, from Astro File Manager right here. If you hold it down, it doesn't let you. It organizes all the files for you right away. It's pretty easy, and you could also do it from your external to your internal storage. So you could see you could see what what is taking up so much space on your SD card just from looking at the status. Basically, you gotta write them down somewhere. Write them down. Basically, when you write down what files you want to delete, you just go into your Astro File Manager. Go in here. You could scroll down to the file, for example. Then you could choose to hold it down, press delete, and just press delete from there. So let's say you delete an application on your phone. When you delete the application, you think it's gone, it disappeared, it's never coming back. Well, actually the application is gone, but basically the files, they may have put the files onto your SD card. And that may take up a lot of memory depending on the app. And most people, like probably 90% of the people, don't go into their SD card and check if the file, if there was any file of that app and check to delete it. Because who really does that? Basically, now you could go into your SD card from Astro and you can see what applications what applications left back, old files, and you can press it, hold it down, delete it. You can also, if you tap on it, you can look into the file, see what you want, see what you don't want, and basically delete all the files that you don't want anymore. That's basically what you do. Um, these are great applications that I just showed you. Um, some of them you need root, some of them you don't. So, for example, apps to SD you need root, and then you also need root for that. So maybe you want to go check that out. Sandus, I know you don't need root for that. And then Astro, I know you don't need root for that either. And basically, that's basically it. 
So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you free up all your memory on your Android device. Um, it's really easy application. All these applications are easy to use. They're pretty simple. Thank you guys for watching. Rate this video a thumbs up and like us on Facebook. We actually do have a Facebook. I'll have a link in the description to go like to go like that page and follow us on Twitter to stay updated with us all the time. So thank you for everything and.